awesome power of the sun. Solar energy is a plentiful resource. In just one hour of sunlight, we get enough sun reaching the surface of our planet to meet our energy needs for a full year. Here in Florida, we get it an average of five hours of usable sunlight per day. Thus, in one day, we could meet our energy needs for the next five years. In one week, the next 25 years. Now, I want to tell you how we can make this resource more readily available to us all. But first, I'm going to start out with a little story. Four years ago, I was a member of a community garden. I was out at the garden one day, planting seeds, pulling weeds, just enjoying a nice sunny afternoon. And even though at that time I was working in the solar industry, I physically couldn't have a solar energy or as we in the industry refer to it, solar PV. I couldn't have that on my home. We didn't own our own house. So out there at the garden, I was out there looking at the unused open land and a thought occurred to me. If I could build a small solar farm out here at the garden, then the power from that garden, that little solar farm, would offset my own consumption. Seems like a good idea, maybe I should look into this. Well, about a year later, I'm working on a solar PV install in South Florida for a dentist. This dentist has good intentions. He wants to offset his power consumption at his office and he wants to use it by using clean, renewable energy, solar. But unfortunately, right in front of his office is this tall row of trees. Well, guess what? These trees have to come down. They're gonna keep, they're gonna keep the sun from reaching the solar panels. So again, it seems like a good idea if I could build a small solar farm then the power from that solar farm would then offset the power consumption at the dentist's office. This is where the idea of community solar comes in. And I'm gonna tell you why community solar is the best option for anyone and everyone to have solar. Okay, under a home solar model, first we would do an energy assessment. How much power do we need to use at our house? Second, the systems installed the panels are mounted to the roof, and the wiring is uh, run, and then the system's hooked up to the grid. Third, you sign an interconnection agreement with the local utility. Net metering is the process by which you're given credit for the power your system generates. Systems are designed to offset or zero out your energy consumption. Okay, those of you in, in here who own your own house, Raise your hand. Okay, those of you with your hands down, leave. <laughs> Just see you later. Okay, this bit of rudeness is to help illustrate how the traditional solar energy will relate to you. You can't physically have it. You don't own your own home. This is the first and foremost problem with traditional solar. Many people just can't have it, whether they rent, whether they live in an apartment or in a condo. Now, according to the National Renewable Energy Laboratory, which is a US government organization that researches renewable energy, one in five homes are not suitable for a traditional rooftop solar system. This statistic doesn't even take into account the many small business owners, such as the dentist, who would like to invest in solar as well. Second problem, shading. Shading's very detrimental to solar energy. Just 5% shading on a system can dramatically affect its performance. Third issue is aesthetics. Some people and groups such as homeowners associations or HOAs don't like the way that solar energy looks on their home. And while these groups can't strictly prohibit you from having a solar energy system on your home, they often will try and limit the system size or the location on the roof which can dramatically affect its performance as well. Fourth problem is a, uh, let's call it a complexity issue. Now, imagine each one of you own your own house. Now imagine each of your houses is spread all throughout Jacksonville, one on the north side, south side, west side, riverside, whatever side of town. 
Now imagine me as an installer having to go to each one of those homes spread all throughout the city, having to take all of my tools, having to take all the equipment necessary to build the solar PV system, having to do permitting in each location. I have to have separate engineering drawings done at each location. Now imagine taking all those 200 jobs, if there were 200 of you, and bringing them into one location, one centralized spot. You can easily see how that would free up resources and make it logistically much more easier to handle. Well, how do we overcome each and every one of these problems I've outlined? We use a, a platform known as Community Solar. Community Solar in its most basic terms is a solar farm owned by individual members of the community. Well, how does it work? In a community solar project, a solar farm is built within the electric utilities coverage area, and then it's tied to the electric grid. Then plots are sold to individual members of the community. For example, here in Jacksonville, we have JEA. When we build a community solar farm here in Jacksonville with the Jacksonville Electric Company Authority, then you as an individual would contact the solar farm and purchase a plot. Energy then generated from that plot offsets your home usage and then is credited on your bill through what is known as virtual net metering. Now, from a customer perspective, your perspective, community solar is very similar to traditional solar. First, you would do an energy assessment. How much power do we need? What size plot do I need to purchase? Then you would purchase that plot and then third, virtual net metering credits your bill. Now, as a caveat, I want to warn you of fake community solar. Community solar is about ownership. Community solar is the answer for those of us who can't have a traditional rooftop solar system on our own home, because maybe we don't own it or we live in an apartment. It needs to follow those same principles of having solar on your house. So again, ownership is key when it comes to community solar. Whether you actually own the panels in the plot, whether you own the power coming from the plot, or whether you own shares that pay dividends. All right, well, what are some of the benefits of community solar? Uh, as I stated earlier, any individual or business can have solar power. Hence the moniker, solar for anyone, solar for everyone. Remember, up to 80% of the people in our country can't have solar. That's, remember when I tried kicking everybody out? None of you guys can have it. Second benefit is scalability. So an average plot would be five to seven kilowatts. Under a community solar program, you could start out with a small plot. You could start out with two kilowatts. Six months later, you could purchase another two kilowatts and so on and so on until you completely offset your home energy usage. The third, it's very easy. Uh, most systems can be purchased with just the phone call, and systems are maintained at the farm, so you have no maintenance issues. Okay, hopefully at this point, you're saying to yourself, oh, this sounds like a good idea. Uh, I'd like to buy a plot. I just bought a fancy new condo over there on Riverside Avenue, and I'm going to buy a plot at the community solar farm. Well, it's not going to get built unless you ask for it. This isn't a, it's not going to be as easy as a Kevin Costner field of dreams scenario. It won't be a, if you build it, they will come. Most active community solar farms have come about where citizens of the community have backed up a community solar project through community activism. And local utilities often aren't very friendly to the idea of community solar. So these citizens of the community, they let it known to the utility they let it known to their local politicians that they wanted a community solar project in their, in their location. They wanted to have a choice on where they got their power. We all have choices to make in our lives. Unfortunately, most of us don't get a choice on where we get our power. Right now as a nation, this is how we get our power. This is where we get the majority of our power from, fossil fuels. That's why I believe, and others within my uh, field believe that community solar is the best option to give us a choice. Community solar is the best option for anyone and everyone to have solar. Thank you.